<laughs> guys who say they have a minor league hockey team called the Chill. What's going through your head? Bad financial planning. <laughs> These people are three months in and out. We just had our share of so many uh, minor league sports teams come in and out of town. I just thought, flashing a bit. You look at the history of minor league sports in Columbus, three minor league hockey teams, two indoor soccer teams, an arena football team, none of them are around now. Right, but the chill made it because of attitude. I remember our first meeting with them a couple years back. We didn't even talk about hockey for like the first 30 minutes of the lunch because they made the game exciting beyond the game. If you go to a chill game, you might not even notice the game you're having so much fun. It's attitude. That's what paid off. Indeed, it didn't take long to see that this was not your typical minor league team. It's been 14 years since Columbus has had its own professional hockey team, and tonight, the Chill, the city's new team, began its 1991-92 home schedule at the Fairgrounds Coliseum, that before a sold-out crowd. The Chill is in the East Coast Ho Hockey League, and they are currently 1-3 in that league. Tonight, they took on the Panthers of Erie, Pennsylvania. During the break between the first two periods, 20 lucky people were chosen for a chance at $5,000 by shooting frozen chickens at a goal with a big slingshot. While a chance of $5,000 may have attracted some to the contest, as Daryl Collins explains, most were there to see hockey. If opening night is any indicator of tonight's game, they even sold the standing room only seats around the top of the arena. Not since 1977 had a game been played here. That's when the old Columbus Owls went up against the Dayton Gems. We're glad to have hockey back. We're old time hockey fans. Sure. Same with me. We've been season ticket holders when we had the Owls, so this isn't anything new for us. Four minutes into the first period came the moment a lot of people have been waiting for. Not the first goal, but the first fight. What do you think of the fight? I don't think that's part of the game. I think the show has to stop taking stupid penalties and play hockey. So you think there's too much fighting? No, I didn't say that. I think hockey's good for the crowd, but I think we should see some hockey here, too. But there was no mistaking the Chills' first home goal being scored. How this kid could sleep, I have no idea. Hockey fans will have 31 more opportunities to cheer on the chill this season. Tomorrow night, they take on Louisville at the Fairgrounds Coliseum, beginning at 8 o'clock. Daryl Collins, News 4, Columbus. It is Tuesday night. That means trading places. And meteorologist Jim Ganahl trades his shoes for ice skates. And his poor old muscles are paying the price. Every year, I put up an ice rink in my backyard to play hockey with the neighborhood kids, but this time, it's different. Come on, Jim. We have all day for you here. Let's go. Now what I want, I want guys going this way, I said, and this way here. All I want you to do is cross over the circle, get a pass, defenseman. Go. Good pass. Okay. Jim, you're not paying attention again, Jim. That am I. That's poetry in motion there. How you feeling? Tired already. Wait till we wait till we really start skating. Well, I thought we were going to a break pretty soon. Break? Station break? <laughs> Not this time, pal. No commercials out here. Are you sure? Or pause for station identification either. <laughs> no way. to practice. We never fight at practice. The first practice, you come and fight. I didn't start it. You didn't start it. Well, I didn't see it that way, and I don't think the referee would have saw it that way either. <laughs> Causing trouble. You have my stick. <laughs> this is Don Granado, the center for the Columbus Chill. Good it's your show. Awesome. Awesome. You do better on this one, I think. Okay, let's take a look at Canada real quick for uh, some of my teammates. It looks like the 
Columbus chill is up there, thank goodness. Uh, uh, we have some Arctic cold, minus 41 way up north, Winnipeg 29, uh, down in Montreal, see if I can get it right, down here 19 degrees, Quebec 16. Uh, that's all we need to say about Canada, I think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now I'll go to our fork. Okay, tomorrow in Columbus. It looks like we should have some more sun, more warmth. Uh, the overnight fog should go away. And a high near around 50 degrees. That's it for weather for me, I think. Oh, I'll show you. Right. <laughs> Bravo! Quick and easy. That was, that was really refreshing, John, to have that job That's done right. like it's supposed to be done. Correctly. I'm, after that, I'm after that job. And I think oh. your forecast is probably going to stick a lot more than Jim's did, too. Do you need a job? So. I hope so. I'm okay. looking for a job. All right. My off alternative, season? Alternative job. It's getting a little bit too rough Okay. Out there. Well, with people like Jim playing, people <laughs> yeah, don't yeah, know what they're exactly. doing on the ice. John happens <laughs> to be the second leading scorer for the Columbus Chill. So, and uh, the crowds have been great. And... Uh, we're glad to have you here. Thank you. Good, Good, to, be here. Good to be here. Be yeah. careful on hockey masks, not so. That could be dangerous Friday okay. night. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, thanks, okay. Don.